Hello! Good morning, everybody. How are you today? I'm a little bit off of my usual rhythm. And this never happens, but we, uh, we slept through an alarm. So everything was kind of a panic. So I'm just like, I'm trying to re-find my calm. It's by 8.53 a.m. I'm normally here. So, like, the timelines have reconverged. <laughs> but how we got here is a little bit off. But good morning, everybody. Welcome, early morning, gang. So many people here already. I really appreciate that. Good morning, Ghost Valve. Good morning, Zed. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Mean Miss Meg. Good morning, Sundist and Buntech and Scuba. Good morning, Lurker Spine and Ink Slayer. Good morning, Shane Lee Attack. Totally notable holder. Good morning, Duck Ace and Mr. Sarkan and Luthien. Oh, my God. There's so many folks. And Zine and Alma. I don't know if I said hi to Alma already. Alucian, thank you so much for using your Prime here as well and for five months of support. Good morning, Brooke. How's everybody doing? You had one day of 1.20 already. What's your verdict? Do you love it? Are you having a good time? Good morning, Evil Gola. Good morning, Craziest Owl. What's up, friends? It's coffee time for you. I... I'm going to see if I need another coffee this morning. It's tough. Found your theme for your server. Nice. I would honestly love to still be sleeping, but surge streams are an excellent trade-off. Hey, what's up, Kyle? Fair. Honestly, fair. Man, I had so much fun playing 1.20 yesterday. We did our first great big archaeology. That was rad. Uh, finding trims. Oh, man, you should see me. I look cute as heck. I actually applied some trims. I'm hoping that when mine o'clock starts on Tuesday and we all look at each other and I'm like all blinged out of my trim, you know? I've enjoyed what I've seen of 1.20 so far. So much so far that my friends are planning on jumpstarting into 1.20 this weekend. That's awesome, Sundist. Work, work. Mm. Board game night at the pancake house is a great phrase. Make the boys jealous on Tuesday. Oh yeah, I live my life. Good morning, Tobkiss. Pardon me, good evening. Thank you for 21 months. Let's get into a little bit of the old mining and the crafting, shall we? Oh, by the way, super weird launcher bug. So if I launch latest release 1.20, like the default through the default launcher, my game crashes. But... If I create a new instance, a new installation of 1.20, everything launches fine. And I don't know why that is. <clears throat> oh, right. Hey, um, does anybody know how to find a sniffer? I think you, um, I think you archaeology their eggs, right? Sniffers are on my face. I hope not. That'd be horrifying. Morning, Goldhar. Oh? Oh. Thank you for throat goo. All right. No one else is on. Also, uh, Joe Kim. Said he logged in. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that this window meant you couldn't see the weather outside. So it goes. So Minecraft Wookie says they can only be hatched from sniffer eggs found through archaeology. Alright, it is through archaeology. Thank you, Inkslayer. <clears throat> it must be like a pretty rare, pretty rare thing then. So, how do I find suspicious whatever? I'm curious how many archaeologies I've done. Yeah, let's get down into this range. I don't even know if this counts as being mined or not. 30s, packed mud. 
Yeah, it's definitely more than this. So this doesn't count as mining it. Hmm. Found you under the family friendly section on Twitch. What's up, friend? Welcome nature of gaming. I appreciate that. All right, so that doesn't work. <clears throat> Picked up, used? No. Hmm. All right, so sniffer eggs are found in suspicious sand in warm ocean ruins 6.7% of the time. Holy moly. All right, uh, I don't have any stats on this, and that's fine, I guess. I know we went through two entire brushes, so do what you will with that information. Spent my whole evening growing cherry blossom trees and mining, and you blame me. I'll take the L on that. Did we try enchanting the brush? No, not yet. I guess we could start the day with that. Good morning, Alays. Sure, why not? Why not? So, let's grab... You know what? Let's grab some glass panes, and we'll go from there. We can repair up our Elytra and our pick while we're at it. I prefer the term trading hall, but you know, it is what it is. Minecraft has some fascinating mechanics. Hey, Lirazel, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Nature of Gaming, our new friend. Very sweet of you. All right, so let's try buying. I mean, if we're going to if we're going to make a brush, let's make it the best brush possible. Mending for one emerald. Efficiency five for one emerald. Unbreaking three. One emerald. Should probably condense some of these emeralds down. We have enough for another beacon, which is good news. All right, so. Can we enchant the brush? Did I put it in this box? No. Did I put it in this box? Yes. You cannot? You cannot enchant the brush. Huh. Oh, you can. Okay. You just can't give it um you just can't give it efficiency. You can give it unbreaking and mending. Fascinating. So we learned the other day that you can actually give shears efficiency unbreaking and mending. Huh. Well, well, well. Is there a chance you can give it fortune since it's a tool? I mean, we can find out. But like, it, it has a very, very, very specific purpose, right? No, no fortune either. It makes sense that it wouldn't take fortune or silk touch or anything like that. You can also give it Curse of Vanishing. Nice. <laughs> you forgot about the super optimized villager trading setup you have? Oh my god, this took so many hours. Like, so many, so many, so many hours to get every single one of these down to one emerald trade. But yeah, it is, uh, it's kind of busto. Actually, while I'm here, let's, let's actually repair some stuff, you know? Good morning, Mr. Gibberish. Let's grab some more of the old uh, glass panes here. James helped a lot. Yes. James Villager Turner, MVP. Wow. Okay. Oh, right. I guess the I guess the shears got repaired very quickly on account of them having 
like only 200 durability or whatever. Yeah, all right, so look at that. These are both fixed already. A reminder that at no point in our old playthrough, original playthrough of this game, did we make a proper experience farm. We repaired all of our tools. <laughs> Villager trading basically the entire time. I do think that it's maybe not sustainable, but you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe something we can uh, look into a little bit more later on. I mean, I think we also already have an Ender Ender. Yeah. I think Joe Kim built it. But on top of that, I made the... Uh, I think I actually decorated it. You know what? We could find that all today. Hey, hey, just because we have an Ender Ender doesn't mean I ever used it. I didn't need to. I'm too powerful. <laughs> Wither Skeleton Farm. The problem is, with that building in particular, it's so far. You know what? You know what I don't have? I don't have a bunch of torches on me. I think we should fix that with this box. I think we should make a 3x3 three three of torches. Should always have torches on me. Also, James has my Silk Touch pick still. James is the Cactus Farm and Smelter. That's because James makes bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> is it the raid farm or the witch farm that makes XP bottles? I don't think it's a witch farm. You feel bad for James? James is eating pumpkin pies. Is it in the shulker box left outside? Is what in the shulker box left outside? That's Uno's. What's this? Somebody destroyed my glow lichen. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> I guess that's the prank from Joe Kim after he destroyed my glow lichen. Ah. Uh. Is this a canal? Wow. Hurtful. Can you believe this? What a guy. Here I am, minding my own business, just happy to get back on the server. And then I get disrespected like that. What's a guy supposed to do? Oh, that's not nearly enough torches. You're going to the Ender Ender, maybe look for the Ender Trim? My stream title. My stream title will hint towards the plan for that as well. The whole goal today is Trim. We'll see if somebody's around who wants to be the navigator. I'm a little bit nervous specifically for the end because it hasn't been reset, and so there's a big chance of, um... Oops. Mm, uh, I'll grab one more. There's a big chance that we'll just, like, follow the footprints of where we've been before, which is maybe not the worst idea, but yeah. Perfect. I don't know what'll go there, but we'll learn eventually. I don't know where I want to start today. So my goal was I wanted to start in the nether, but like going to the end and checking stuff out is also kind of interesting. What is trim? So trim is one of the things that's added in 1.20 and it makes us look cute as heck. Trim is the end game. Look at this. Look at this armor that we're wearing. Huh? I'm the fanciest. I wish I'd taken a screenshot of the end when James had it on screen make end navigating so much easier oh so sorry harvest did he do sort of like a heat map of like where people had been also i'm stoked to know you're in chat harvest harvest the the navigator so i know he reset the nether 
Wait, how am I doing for rockets? Uh, only half a shulker box. Yeah, so the, the nether has been trimmed, but the end, I believe, has been untouched. You know what? Let's um let's take a little let's take a little tip, a little trip, tip, a little trip to the nether, shall we? I'm curious about some stuff. Specifically, I want to make sure our um wither skeleton farm, nothing bad happened to it. Good morning, so nostalgic being back on the server. Absolutely it is. If it was yesterday, you can scrub the VOD for it. Yeah, his stream yesterday was only like 30 minutes. So it shouldn't be too tricky. I guess we only ever dug the hole. I, for whatever reason, I thought we had finished this the whole way. Guess not. All right, here's our... Yeah, it's still all buttoned. Oh, man. You remember this? I was actually really worried that part of this might have broken. Poor little chili friend. Oh, my God. I just... <laughs> All right, obviously, obviously blessed because that was my first. Ooh, there's, wow, there's a lot in here. Oh my God, I was low on coal. Hello. <laughs> How did a gas tier get in there? You know what? I want coal. I've been feeling like I do not have the wealth befitting my station as the Dwarven King on the server. I don't want to start fixing this, you know? You already found it? Amazing, Mr. Gibberish. Thank you for looking that up. You know what? Looks like the Wither Skeleton Farm does do an okay experience farm job there, huh? Let's put that all away. Alright. So, our job... They're so chilly! Our job... Should we choose to accept it? Let's get a bow. And uh, where did my spyglass go? Is it in this one? Yes. Still don't have the Optifine zoom, so we need a bow. Let's not dig straight down into lava, shall we? All right, one more. One more. Nice. Our job is going to be to try and find a fresh nether fortress, whatever that's worth. Actually, oh, another skull. Another skull in my inventory, eh? Put that there. Let's do a little flyby on this perimeter, just in case. Oh, isn't it beautiful? God, this represented so many hours of work. What are my button placing statistics anyways? Hey, Roy Gaboof. Thank you very much for the 18 months and using your prime here. Times used. Cobbled deep slate. Um, is it times? Is there times placed? Oh, button. There we go. 20,000. <laughs> uh, it's a good number. Oh, right. Another reason I miss Optifine. Another reason I miss Optifine is uh, the fog. It's a lot of Wither Skeletons. 
Any other skulls? No. Unlucky. Some of the first streams watching your channels when I was spawn proofing this area. Oh my god, that kind of quality content. Flattered. It's bow and offhand if you want the looting. Isn't it interchangeable? Or is it only when the... Um, I thought it was if the sword was in either hand you get the looting bonus. Looting only works in the main hand. Ah, okay. What's up, Cryptic? It's funny because, like, it honestly doesn't matter considering we have 15 Wither Skulls just sitting in a box, but... For whatever reason, passing up on that opportunity makes me feel bad. They changed it! When did they change it? Hello. Offhand sword looting was removed a long time ago. I mean, what's a long time ago? I think that that means different things to different people. No chest here, huh? Monday? Oh, that is a long time ago. God, can you remember Monday? Remember like it was almost yesterday. Wow. I don't think there's any chests here. All right, let's 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 leave. So we're looking to raid Bastions. And we're looking to raid Strongholds. Chili. Monday can't hurt you. Hey, a Bastion. Hello. Stop that, please. Alright, I got the Chivo. Oh, who's hitting me now? From, oh, hello. I'm not wearing gold. <laughs> Goodness. Alright, can everybody just chill for like... Two seconds, please. All right, we good? Where'd this extra ender chest come from? Oh, did I steal an ender chest from the farm chat? Just like, absolutely. Oh, neat. Huh. I saw one on the ground and I thought to myself, well, that's kind of weird. It's mine now. All right. I appreciate that chat was going to let me get away with it. All right. Stop that. Gas tier. Oh. Well, that answers that. So, I guess I have to move even further away from everything, huh? How aggressively did James trim stuff in the, uh, in the Nether, friends? Those of you who watched his stream. Do I have the new egg? No, we were talking about sniffer stuff earlier. We have not found a sniffer yet. 
We did a fair, there we go. These are new chunks. You can tell because the lava is flowing. Not hyper aggressively? Okay, thank you. We can tell we're in fresh stuff. This is, if you see the lava flowing, you're in a new area. Aha! All right. All right. All right, can we just please spread out a bit? Perfect. How... Can somebody explain to me the mechanics on how sometimes you one-shot with a bow and sometimes you don't? Why am I sometimes the most powerful archer alive? What is a trim in this context? A trim is one of the new 1.20 things. Uh, uh, it's a transmog. Punch adds range damage. I don't believe I have punch on my bow. Step power five. Yeah, that time, even though it was fully powered, it took me two shots. Fascinating. Trim is only cosmetic? Yep. As they say, fashion is the true end game. Yes. All right, our first chest in a stronghold. Come on, one chest, one and done. Sure we don't get attacked. You ready for this? Bam. Hmm. As someone who yeah, anyone who's played an MMO before will know how far people will go to look cute, for sure. Didn't miss how dark these are, to be honest. Miss my optifine. Hold on, so damage from range stuff. According to Minecraft Wiki, it's a flat 25% boost times the level plus one rounded up to the nearest half art. So there shouldn't be a huge range of damage there. Interesting. Good morning, pharmacist judge. Can't make this any brighter, can I? I miss Optifine. Oh, that's a large lad. Whatever, you y'all stay out there. Hmm. Watch out for that first step there. Surge, Optifine is my best friend, Jaeger. It's true, though. Transformatively awesome. Let's go up this way now. There's a pre-release version of Optifine now. Yeah, I imagine it'll be pretty quick. No, I don't want an unstable thing. Look, people are already... People are already uh, stressing enough about mods in the Minecraft community right now. Ooh. Saddles are handy. All right, I'm sorry, Joe. Joe told me to bring home these saddles so that we could ride a camel together. That's fair. Downsizing my magic collection. Just took apart several boxed recons. I think my collection physical volume dropped six to seven percent. Oh, it feels good. I don't know. My glasses aren't optifine enough. My glasses don't magically add more light level. Which is a is a shame, TBH.
It'd be amazing if my glasses just made everything look brighter. Wouldn't that be rad? Mine don't do that. I, look. I don't know how to tell you all this, but the, the streaming gig isn't the most lucrative. There's some neat little bells and whistles, but the, uh, the light amplifying glasses are a little out of the budget. I mean, I could break them. Can't even afford fourth monitor. <laughs> I still worry that this one's been looted. I don't know. I, I kind of, kind of doesn't have that fresh stronghold feel. You know what I mean? <laughs> Do you say fourth? It's a joke. It's a, it's an old joke. In the community. Alright, so we came from that way. Means I could go this way. You even have room for a fourth monitor? That's the other part of the joke. <laughs> ah! Jojo. Today might have to be an extra coffee day if that's alright. All I'm getting is gold. Golden saddles. Managed to find glasses with a built-in little Optifine on them. Oh my god. This is what I need. Oh my god. They're only seven dollars? Wow. I mean... Ooh. Tempting. Alright, let's find another stronghold and or bastion. Well, actually, hold on. Wrong button. How do I even have that button? Hello. Be gone. He didn't like that I opened that chest, even though I'm wearing the booties. Um, right. I was going to get more fireworks. I'm like, what am I doing? You'd be worried about how heavy those glasses are. But imagine all the things you could see. So we get a cheap glasses. I recently bought prescription swimming goggles, and they were far cheaper than I expected. Oh, that's awesome. Quick math based on James's screenshot. Go like 1,200 blocks away from everything? Oh, God. Which way am I even facing? North would be quickest. See, the problem is I don't know which direction I left in. But, yeah, we're back in loaded chunks. I may have gotten turned around. Which way am I going now? Yeah, lava flow from the ceiling shows that maybe we've been here. There we go. All right, we're in fresh chunks again. Hey, what's up, Midnighter Knight? Thank you so much for 45 months. Dang. Thank you very much. 1.20 hype indeed. Oh, don't die. Still going north? Yes. Okay, still fresh chunks. Good. Yes! Yes! No! Alright, we found an fresh bastion. Terrifying. It's also in a red forest, which makes it doubly terrifying. 
Uh, this might kill me if I try and go into it. This might actually be a bad idea. It's got that fresh bastion smell. Yeah. Yeah, I might not be able to enter this one. You believe in me? You believe in me or are you just cheering for my death? Let's grab a shield. My dog keeps staring at the screen occasionally. So you have a canine audience as well. Ooh. I already know I'm big in the cat demographic. I didn't know I also was as beloved by dogs. Comes to a bastion. I'm lazy and do the fire resistance lava approach. I'm not familiar what that means. If you just cover yourself in lava and then and then drink a fire resistance potion. What is this? What is this meta? I don't know what pharmacist judge. Man, I don't want to go in through like a, a hole in the wall. That's how you die, these things. Ah. Uh. Oh, fire resistant potion and come from below. What? What do you mean by come from below? Ah, oh, wait, hold on. This might be... Aha! This is what I was looking for. Okay, awesome. Yes! Yes! See, this is how you enter one of these. Wait, where'd that brute go? I think it's there. Yes. I think only brutes have axes. I mean, I think they all have to die. Because as soon as I open a chest, they're going to get mad at me. Uh, I think the next thing I need to do... Need some scaffolding blocks. Mad at me? No. Okay. There's another one. Oh, could it get at me? It might be able to. It's terrifying. Hello. Hold. Chest. Everything I want in there is going to be in that one chest. Oh, it ran a different direction. Shoot. That means is it smart enough to get to me from somewhere else? I hope not. I'm scared. <laughs> you off Brie and Bacon? Have a good one, friend. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so glad I put that block there. Is 
any way else they can get in here. Oh my god, we got the trim. <laughs> oh, first try! Let's go. Wow. Hey, Lurker's Spine. Thank you for 100 first try biddies. There's two trims in the Bastion. Well, there's, sorry, there's technically one trim, but there's also the uh, Netherite upgrade recipe comes from trim, uh, comes from Bastions. So we are going to try and grab one of those as well. And it's going to be right, it's going to be right in here. Block of iron. I'll take the bone blocks. I'll take the gilded blackstone too. Let's go. And this one. <sighs> All right. Well, we're not done yet. Still though, feels good. Pardon me. Actually, while I'm here, are there angry pigs? There are, right here. It's a good thing I blocked that off. They were trying to get me while I wasn't paying attention. so much for those biddies, Larker Spine. All right. I don't actually understand the layout of this bastion quite as well as the other ones. Um, and I am, I'm a little nervous to head right inside. So you know what? Let's take the coward's approach and let's find a different, uh, more, more better more open one, if that makes sense. I'm not doing a great job with English. Wait, is this the same Bastion? I don't even know. All right, I want to go this way. Uh, try and find a way to the north there. There it is. All right, the adventure continues. I hope you appreciate my my slow and steady approach. Because, like, Bastions will just kill you. <laughs> like, <laughs> Considering the lack of armor I have, that I'm wearing an Elytra and gold boots, I think I got two shot by the, uh, the Brutes. Wait, am I back in... Oh, no, I'm in, I'm in fresh chunks. Look for the lava. Oh, hey. All right, this is another place where we can potentially find. New trim. All right, this one there as well. Ooh, all right, three chances. First chance, not bad. We take those. Second chance. Third chance. Hey, what's the spawn rate of the... It's going to be in the last one. Now, I see what you did there, Mr. Nibbles. Because you're technically not wrong. As there could be more chests after this. <laughs> what is the actual drop chance here, chat? Does anybody know? Is it like 5% or something? You know what we're going to do? There. 6.7%. All right. So 
So that only means I need to open. I mean, it's I've, it's obviously not deterministic down at that end. I think that's where I came in from. So at 6.7%, there's um there's a bell curve of your actual chance of getting it. What do you think? How many do I have to open to not necessarily be guaranteed? Because again, it's never guaranteed. Imagine it's in the ballpark of 20. This is very pretty. 32. Yeesh. That's a lot. That's a problem. That was a... There's a spawner and a skeleton directly above us. Terrifying. <laughs> That's another spawner. Have I ever made like a proper blaze farm before? I don't know if I have. <laughs> I think this is really funny. In one of our old, I think it was like the Joe Stotska playthrough. I can't even remember. But we did, oh, I haven't gone down. Nice, yeah, this is perfect. We had like a triple blaze spawner, but in order to get out to it, I was like, uh, I need to extend the ice highway. And we spent the next like three weeks building an ice farm and then stopped playing on the server. Four. I mean, actually, that's closer to like seven because we hit a couple in the other one. All right. Unlucky. The Are You a Beaver Redemption thing is still up? It shouldn't be. Like, if you click on it, it shouldn't do anything. Try and do it, Duck Ace. I'll refund your points if it works. All right, I smashed all these already. All right, this one's done. I'm going to call this one done. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, sweetie. It's visible, but you can't redeem it. Yeah, that makes more sense. All right, let's keep going north. Joe Kim made one a few seasons ago. Yeah. Ooh, this is perfect. See, this is what I want when I want a bastion. I want the chests nice and clearly visible. So I can just do this. Oh my god, and it's right above a stronghold too? What? I've never seen these two structures right on top of each other before. Have you seen this before? I'm sorry, I'm missing every shot. Yeah, what do we call this? Do we call this a strong bast or a bast hold? Bastris? Ooh, Bastris is pretty good. I think I've missed more shots than I've taken. <laughs> well, that's impossible than I've hit. I think I'm like 30% shot rate here. We call it a place of death. Honestly fair. 
All right, is there a staircase somebody could come up? All right, there's a place they could come down. I don't think they can get to me, though. All right, I'm going for it. Oh my god, there's a trim in there. It was just a test. I wanted to see if anybody would run towards me and try and kill me. I think we're safe. All right. Uh, that is the snout armor trim a second time. Baby piglins are the cutest mobs in the game. Cute, but deadly. All right. Cross your fingers. We got another copy of Pig Step. I mean, that's cool as heck. Doesn't really help me, though. <laughs> Guilty of listening to that on Spotify sometimes? It's a, it's a certified banger. Like, that song is actually just amazing. Lano Rain is great. Oh, absolutely, yeah. All right, let's head out this way. Look, there's more of that stronghold. Are there any more exposed chests? So we were there. Which is pretty interesting. I don't know if I actually am familiar with this layout. Yeah, chest room there is new to me. Ow! Who shot me? Oh my god, a blaze from way over there? I hate that. Let's try going... Goodbye. <laughs> Is there any reason to not leave some items behind so you don't have to search even further afield for the mine o'clock collection? Uh, that's a completely different stream. Um, I'm yeah. We don't we don't talk about or consider the mine o'clock stream on the home stream. Uh, because then I would be plotting or doing stuff for it. Like we are. Almost certainly going to want to be finding fresh stuff there, too. And have a different starting point, a different starting direction. Um, can, doing any consideration for it on the home stream is against the spirit of it. For the 9 o'clock stream. Uh, so that would be why. It's not that we don't talk about 9 o'clock, but it's like, it's its own challenge. Right? That's too bad. Oh, a lodestone. Never mind. That's not too bad at all. Hello? It's out of kayfabe? Yeah. Because it's like, if I saw loot and then I wrote down the coordinates and then we came back and visited during 9 o'clock, what's the difference between that and just like grabbing items out of my own personal collection, right? Lodestone's a good get. Uh, I'm still nervous. <laughs> oh, the giant, the giant gold monument. Sure, why not? 
Oh, hello. Goodbye. You get into a semantic discussion and leave it behind so you know where it is any different from just bringing it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Brooke. I agree with Surge and that netherite armor is kind of unnecessary, so forcing power players to go to Bastion to get it isn't that bad. Yeah. No, I, I absolutely agree. I think you'll increasingly find too that um, uh, a lot of creators on YouTube don't find that even just getting ancient debris is worth it these days. Like, the tool isn't enough of an upgrade to make it a must-have. It's, it's kind of like a Vandy thing right now. And the people who are going to get it, like this is this is barely a speed bump, you know. <laughs> Mine o'clock is on the clock. Yeah. I like that. I like that too, Gunner. It's like, look, those are my work hours. This is my chill time. Or whatever. I don't know. I was introduced to you yesterday and loving your content so far and looking forward to tuning in. Thank you so much, Shadow Facts. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I saw you hanging out. Are you, um, oh, was it Scuba? Please hold. So here. Are you Duck Aces, friend? Yo! Azadium, what's up, friend? Thank you so much for that brand new tier one. Welcome. Really appreciate that. All right, that's so many Wither Skeletons. Please stop hitting me. Who's hitting me? Who is... Whomst? Look up? I'm a gamer. I can't. Ugh and okay! Oh my goodness. Thank you for that prime in 16 months. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. What? What? What, <laughs> what is with these spawn rates? Oh my god. I have never seen Wither Skeletons spawn that fast before, and I've wanted them to. Every time except for right then, I've always wanted to see that many Wither Skeletons at once. It's okay. We did a, a tactical and strategic retreat. I bet you there's loot there. That looks like a chest room to me. What do you think, chat? With all these mobs, summoning a wither might be profitable. We have a wither rose farm. I have a shulker box at home. Just full, like 27 stacks. It would be hilarious, though. Shadowfax is your friend. Awesome, Duck Ace. Welcome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Also, like, huge shout out to Duck Ace for recommending the channel to a friend. We in the industry call that organic growth. I think it makes it more meaningful if you reduce a human interaction to a buzzword. <laughs> hey, Mr. Gibberish, thank you very, very much for gifting them a sub. It's very generous, very sweet. Mr. Gibberish also gifting a sub to Duck Ace. It's your first time in the stream. Hold on. It's your first time in the stream and you've already subbed to the channel? That's mega generous, Zadium. All right. Do you think it's safe? So the reason I keep checking, if you're not if you're not familiar with the mechanics, the reason I keep checking um, all my corners 
is the gold leaven pig friends hate it when you open chests it causes like an aggro event and they'll run and swarm towards you another trim another snout trim all right am i getting really unlucky or is it very rare Hmm. Pardon me. Could be both. Hmm. Very bad at Bastions. I mostly get the chest in the lava room. This is my favorite layout. Um, if you're at all curious of like... I think this is the, at least for me, this is the easiest one to loot. So we got three copies of the snout trim. Yo, Nibbles! Thank you very, very much for ten dollar dues. Hold on. Doors and corners, kid. That's where they get you. <laughs> You've been unable to play Minecraft since the Mojang Microsoft Force Switch. I can't log in. I have to purchase a new account. That's frustrating. I've gotten a little bit lucky. I'm gonna be honest. Um with the Minecraft, with like the Minecraft Microsoft crossover thing, I, because I also played Legends and Dungeons, I have to use a completely different launcher to play the other two games. So obviously I haven't done something perfect, but they haven't like I can still log into everything, but it's it's pretty clunky. I'm using my first person shooter skills to check all my corners while we loot these chests. All right, let's head back to this absolutely murder dungeon, murder dungeon over here. I don't know if there's any other chests lower down. So let's, yeah, let's head to the, uh, the stronghold. Which is over here. I want to see if we can find the, uh, stronghold trim. Oh, no. So from what I can tell, any chest you found the armor trim in, you had a slightly higher chance for the netherite upgrade than the trim, and so I am getting unlucky. Okay. Fascinating. Where are my toads when I need them? I've never seen this before, by the way. Like, a stronghold cutting into a bastion is very new to me. You called for a toad. How are you, Matt? Did I forget to check the streamer luck box? I put on the super streamer luck, which is why we're getting trim instead of the other thing. It's backfiring a little. All right, there's a spawner, which is normally good, but not what we want right now. Oh, hey, speaking of Matt, uh, friends who are following the YouTube channel, monthly highlights are up. Normally, I would promote it more heavily in the Discord, uh, but I didn't want to... I wanted to leave the announcement for um, the modded vulnerability just a little bit longer. Make sure people have a chance to see it. It's another spawner. Wow. I saw in the highlight reel you randomly died due to armor failure and create astral. Armor failure, yes. Not at all getting punched to death. 
I got punched so hard they cracked my armor and then I suffocated. It was a horrible way to go. Oh, come on. Just give me the trim. Alright, that's like... What number of chest is that now? Excuse me. I think we're at about 12 right now. You died on Mercury for the same sort of thing. Wait, your helmet vanished. Oh no. Pardon me. It's actually just a maze. Wait, I just went in a full circle. How? <laughs> okay, another chest. Very good. Check our corners. All right, Joe, I'm bringing you home so many saddles. Unlucky. Hello, little friend. Wow. Wow. It's a maze. How did I get lost? I'm smarter than a maze. At least I thought I was. Unlucky. Your blazing saddles is a good watch. Cost those extra saddles in the lava. I haven't watched blazing saddles in a very long time. I wonder if that one still holds up. I feel like, eh, maybe not. <laughs> Hello. Is that five wither skeletons at the end of this hallway? Wait, did I already hit this one as well? All right, what about you? What about you? Better, still not great. All right, I'm gonna say that's 12 chests now. So we're 0 for 12. Blazing Saddle stills holds up, but probably not for this stream. Fair, fair. <laughs> Also, good morning, Chris. Apologies for how unbelievably dark this place is. Do you have any game recommendations for more chill games recently? Oh my god, uh, that's my that's my jam. All I play is chill games. Uh, I, I like not even a like a, a self promotion sort of way, but maybe I should do more of it in a self promotion sort of way. If you check out the YouTube channel. And just look at the list of games played. Or even better, uh, twitchtracker.com slash sergeager. We've got a lot of very chill games that we play on the channel. Yeah, if you're looking for chill puzzle games, we played some of those recently. Yeah, like Panorama. If you're looking for chill... I'm in horse armor. If you're looking for like chill city builders, we are doing some um, Timberborn recently. What do we play that isn't chill? We play some non-chill stuff too. Outward. Outward, decidedly not chill. I got bullied by Outward. That Abyss game was not chill. Yeah, that's fair.
Is there where there's a nickname command? Um, yes, there is. I really enjoy Shipbreaker. Like, obviously that game can get a little stressful. When things go wrong, but for the most part, I find Shipbreaker to be very chill. Really enjoyed that playthrough we did of that game. I'm very nervous because there is exactly one zombified piglin. If it chooses to walk forward, I'm in a lot of trouble. Alright, I think this is back in the maze section. You know what, let's get out of here. That was another good one. I got a skull. Uh, I <laughs> again it's wild how many wither skeletons there are pardon me I, why am I on fire <laughs> All right, uh, let's keep going north. I got on the top of the nether roof. It says it's Y equals 128, and I can't build on top of it, and I don't know why. Got on top of the nether. This is 128. Can't build on top of it. I don't know. I have no idea why you can't build on top either. Let's keep heading north. These are loaded chunks. Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to build on top of the nether roof. There's obviously something else going on. Oh, if you're in bedrock, you can't do it. Java? Ah, Wormbo has the answer there. Yeah, bedrock versus Java. Java, pardon me. What's up, Jade? Do we see fresh lava around here? Do you think this is a an untouched one or no? How goes the hunting? We've gotten one of the trims so far. Oh, no, no, no. This is new. I can see um, brutes. What's up, Artemis Huntress? Oh! Oh! Everything about this update is exciting, except for having to find a bastion to get nether right now. I don't even mind that too much. All right, hold on. Uh, quick test. Terrifying.
So we're opening the chest to bait them. And then uh, I think we're safe. That's a very disappointing chest. Yes! Hey! All right, we got it. All right, the smithing template upgrade has been achieved. So the only other thing that we need to get in the nether is from the strongholds. Bastions are done. Or fortress, not stronghold. Part of me. Thank you. A real. Oh, geez. I, I was about to have a sip of a coffee because I thought I was safe. <laughs> uh, let's get somewhere safe and then we'll finish our coffee. Oh, gee. There's a stronghold right here. Well, well, well. What does that upgrade I just got do? So one of the changes they made for 1.20 is you can no longer go directly from diamond to netherite gear. Uh, instead, they've introduced at the smithing table uh, an entire system of upgrade templates. So they added 17 upgrade templates. 16 of them are cosmetic, which is like how I have the um, that really cool like stripe on my helmet and on my pants. And then one of them is now a mandatory upgrade if you want to turn diamonds into netherite. It's called the, I put it away, it's called the smithing template or something like that. And the important thing to note is all of the templates or trims are consumable. So they are single use only and you can double them. You can, you can duplicate them. You can, what's a better word? Help me out chat. You can copy them. At the cost of diamond. So basically they've added one extra step between diamond and netherite gear. Duplicate seems like a good word. Thank you. Yeah. Is this the saddest stronghold ever? It might be. Diamonds are actually useful in large quantities now. Yeah. Yeah. That's sort of the thing. It's I don't I don't see it as being a, a huge like downside. Cause if you are the type of person who's gonna get netherite anyways, this is not really a tremendous downside. Or tremendous hurdle, I I guess is maybe a better word to say. All right, I need to get to the inside portion because chests don't spawn in this outside portion. That's a blaze spawner. You spend all your diamonds replacing your gear every other day? Oh no. Well... There's no wrong way to play. Makes getting netherite more interesting. It's a good thing, TBH. Yeah, I don't... I'm on I'm on that team as well. I think this might be the indoor section. This is um not a great stronghold. Kinda always felt like once you got geared up, diamonds are useless, short of if you're on a server and make like a shopping district. Yeah. There we go, we found the indoor section. Can't hit me, I'm too fast. like that footwork it's tough that it's a low percentage chance to find the template but gives you more reason to explore I'm loving archaeology 
and exploring for trims. Like, I'm having so much fun right now. You have keep inventory true on death. Totally valid. Yeah, there's no wrong way to play Minecraft, which is kind of the beautiful thing about it, right? You know what? I'm just going to start doing this. Did like three straight days and found so many sherds. Nice. Yeah, let's keep going down. God, this is so dark. Is it in my world or is it harder to find deserts? It's random. That's sort of the nature of it. Desert is one of the more common biomes, but it's as common as everything else. You'd quit entire worlds if you died and lost your gear and rebuilding was frustrating out of that kind of time. Yeah, I... Yeah. Not everybody is a streamer. Not everybody has 30 hours a week to commit to playing Minecraft. Find the way that makes you have fun, right? All right, so I think we've hit about 20 chests now. Let's have to find the staircase back up. This is going to be a dead end too, isn't it? Yes. Hello, skeletons. Goodbye, skeletons. <laughs> can you get to me? No, you're just very keen. That, you know what? I can respect that. Alright, so for here, I made this not easy for myself to get out. That's fine. Now we're, now we're back this way. Hello. Three skeletons. Here, can you, uh, can you take a step up, please? Yeah, great. Great. Appreciate that. Uh-huh. I don't see a skull. That's fair. Tell you what, let's do one more stronghold, and then I don't necessarily want to, like, grind this all day. Because it's not super interesting, then we'll switch to the end. But before that, I have to pee, like, really bad. So let's let's put ourselves in a safe spot here. I'm going to take a very short bio break. I'll be right back, friends.
Hello, I return. Check our corners when we leave. All right, let's get out of here. Find a new one. Hopefully we get the trim. And if not, we can do it another day. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, we want to continue heading north, which is this way. So 6.7% chance to get the trim in a stronghold chest. Somebody smarter than me did the math and said approximately 32 chests need to be cracked at 6.7% to, again, not guarantee, but that's when you have a pretty high odd according to math according to math what does math know according to math at 32 we should be um should have it and i think we're in the ballpark of about 12 to 15 chest cracks so far what's up lilith Oof. Still going north? We are. And look at this. Another stronghold. And are we right inside already? No, this is still the outdoor stuff. All right. Cross your fingers, cross your toes, chat. Send me those good vibes. All right, one and done. Nope. <laughs> Two and done. <sighs> Sorry, it is Nether Fortress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Stronghold. A stronghold does have one as well in the overworld, which is kind of neat. All right, this is number four in this one. doesn't lead anywhere. I'm out. We'll make it lead somewhere then. Oh goodness. Armor trim is ours. Oh, right on. First try. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Never didn't have it. And I think we were mathematically ahead of the curve. Is that correct? Sub 20. Ooh, diamonds. You want my luck? Well, we still have to check like five of these. I wouldn't call myself the luckiest man alive. But uh, we did, we did, we did all right, you know? Uh -huh. 
So here's an interesting question, because we are on a server, right? We're on a server, and our server does have a shopping district. If I were to sell these trims, knowing that they can be duplicated, right? After you buy them, you can basically make them forever. Hello. What do you think's a fair price? What would you charge? Provided you think that people don't want to get themselves. Oh my God, I have so far to go. Our nether hub is at zero, zero. And I am at 2,400 to 2,400. Go the right way. I need to go southwest. Charge trims for trims, a barter service. I mean, I'm kind of interested in just hunting for them all myself. But for the people who don't want to explore, if they just want to enjoy the end game that is fashion, right? <clears throat> they should cost more than they cost to duplicate. So they cost seven diamonds to duplicate. Five blocks. A diamond block is kind of reasonable. So we have a range of one block to five blocks. Interesting. Another stronghold. Found a lot of strongholds today. Wow. <laughs> 15 diamonds are four with a chance to spin the wheel. <laughs> what does the wheel do? <laughs> oh, there's another untouched bastion. Yeah, we're just going to fly by these now and not worry about it too much. A huge shout out to James, our server host. For the stuff that he does for stuff like this, right? The ability to um, reset chunks so that we do have fresh exploration and stuff that we can do. Actually, I just realized something. I should, before I fly home and potentially lose everything, should put this in my, my nether chest, <laughs> you know? My ender chest, there we go. Does resetting the chunks cause any issues? It can, you can accidentally delete your, um, your builds if you're not careful. But if you know what you're doing, then you're good to go, especially if you want to do one of two things. If you're on a server and you want people to be able to um, explore and grab resources without having to travel further and further. Uh, south and west? South and west. That's north. Southwest. East? This way. South. Just need to find a, a westward passage. We will find the Southwest Passage. <laughs> uh, I could dig. Ah, uh, the joys of trying to find your way home. Right, I should... I can put the shield away now. Pardon me for having F3 up. 
James, does James still have that very elegant small um, compass mod that he uses? I know he used to do that like ages and ages ago. I don't know if that's still a thing though. Aha! There we go. Hey, another untouched, freshed bastion. The coordinates HUD data pack. Yeah. Oh, no. Surprised I haven't just oopsed into the nether hub yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, south. Sure. I guess I am still like 1,500 blocks away. I should find it pretty quick, though. Hey, perfect. Oh, these are fresh chunks. Which is neat, but not necessarily good. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How is this all fresh? Now we head just south. Just south. There's a portal. Wait. Okay. A sign that people have been somewhere. Okay, this is good. I only have 10 rockets left. I should fix that. Jojo, have you refilled your fireworks shop yet or no? You have. Oh my god. All right, we're at zero, zero. Right? Hey, there we go. Signs of the old nether hub. Ha ha! Spawn-ish. All right, welcome home, everybody. Huge success. Hey, uh, Harvest, you still around? Oh my god. Somebody's updated to 1.20. You sure are? Do you want to be my nether navigator? All right. Uh did I just throw my sword through the portal? Where did my sword go? There it is. I did throw it through the portal. <laughs> oh. You hadn't seen the hanging signs yet? They're so cute. Yeah. What is my goal? My goal is any nether city. We don't necessarily need to care about boats or not. Because I'm just looking to, um, I'm just looking to get as many like chest density as possible because we're trying to find the trim. I believe there's an end trim, right? Wait, is there no end? Yeah, there is an end trim. It's called spire. What if we accidentally find the Shulker farm? Not a huge, pardon me, priority. But if we stumbled upon it, I would laugh. I'd say, <laughs> nice. All right, let's let's uh, let's start putting all this stuff away. Oh, I love, 
I love that we found it all. All right, so first things first, up in the trim, bam, get that in there. I'm actually not even against all the gold that we found, which is odd because normally I wouldn't take it, but we're so, I feel so resource poor in this playthrough. Wait, was I putting these under tools, maybe? I have diamond horse armor, sure. Put saddles in with tools. Northeast looks open direction-wise. So Harvest is typically the navigator that James uses for end busting as well. Which is actually tremendously convenient. Uh, so I trust in their ability to sort of know roughly where folks have been. Although it has been a while. So like there's no pressure or expectation to be perfect. I actually trust Harvest to have a better idea than I do. <laughs> so where, where was I putting other stuff? Like where does this golden apple go? Is the golden apple going in here with diamonds? No, that's the enchanted golden apples. Is the golden apple going over here with just regular food? Yes, it was. Awesome. Still figuring out where everything goes in the storage system. Like nether wart. Where do you think I put nether wart? Why, why would I put nether wart in there? That doesn't make sense. This makes more sense. Even this makes more sense. All right, one box done. Uh, what should I do with this canal? <laughs> oh, again, just so happy. Yeah, and you can see All the lodestones that we already put in here to decorate. So getting another one is kind of cool. In case we wanted to expand. Put it there with our netherite collection. All right. So I had two banners, which I put somewhere, question mark. All right, that's probably enough with the saddles. Wither Skeleton Skull. Yeah. Put it by the Wither Rose. Heading to work, but you heard the magic word. Keska say the magic word, Gunner. What have I what have I said? Oh, canal. Did you not see this, Gunner? This gift from Joe Kim? Basically a magic ticket. The canal of the season is done. He made it for us. It's very, very, very sweet of him. It's a portable canal. Yeah. I have no idea where I put these banners yesterday. Do y'all remember? Are they in here? There's Anne Banner there. I don't know if my storage system is good yet. You lost an entire pizza. Asking gently, could you have eaten it?
Where did I put these banner patterns? I'm trying to separate and organize all of my storage and I've lost things. How could I possibly lose things? All right, it's not in with records. It's not in with smithing templates. It's not in with sherds or yeah, okay. Or mud or moss or mossy or blocks. Sandstone is empty. Ice is ice. Snow is snow. Skulk is skulk. Blackstone, Deep Slate. It's not in with sticks. That's Joe's canal, but he gifted it to us. Hey, look, the Eiffel Tower, or the Statue of Liberty, rather, was also a gift. Just because it's a gift doesn't mean it's not mine. All right. I apparently do not have a banner box. Don't have a banner box. So let's put it in with our trims. This is very weird to me. But I don't know where it went. All right. Basalt. Basalt? Basalt. Music. This is my fourth pick step. I am rich in pig step, which is, uh, you know, not all that bad. If I do say so myself. All right. So here's, here's the goal. Step one, we're going to go drop off the pig step in the pig step box. Step two. What's step two? Uh, step two is we're going to head to the shopping district and we're going to load up on fireworks. And then step three we're going to go end busting. We're going to try and get another trim. Did I even make a canal at all in the previous version of the season? Oh, I made a lava canal! I made a lava canal and I extended it to be even bigger. Oh yeah, you got so many canals in the previous, in the previous playthrough chat. Don't get greedy. With four pig steps, does that mean we could listen to it in double stereo? That'd be kind of cool. Chat has no memory of canals after a week. I see that. I'm very disappointed. Why would I make you canals if you're not even going to remember and appreciate them? SMHing my age. One time, my beloved beagle got his paws on an entire bag of hamburger buns. Poor guy howled all night with gas. No, poor farty beagle. Your dog ate your pizza, you'll know. <laughs> oh, so much cheese. Poor dog. All right, Joe says, hello, cat. Joe says she has been hard at work restocking her stuff. Ooh. Oh, there we, oh my God. Uh, Joe, you've already sold so many stacks. You lowered the price? One diamond for three stacks. Yeah. Kind of tempted to buy the last ones as well. It's very sweet for Joe to be like, the server is bustling with activity again and it makes everything cheaper. <laughs> oh, my little Joe. 
Oh, yeah, I did not need to collect any saddles. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she just has free iron for anvils here. Holy moly. Oh, I nudged you a little bit. Yeah, let's get you back on your bed. There you go. There you go, meow meow. Out of curiosity, is there any iron in the iron store? Oh. Right, there's also the bounty board. Hello, horse. How are things looking here? New friend behind the Achacha shop. We have an Achacha shop? Hope you're having a fantastic day. All right, nothing new on the community board. There's a new friend behind the Achacha. Ah, new friend! Oh my god. Welcome. Take Humphrey for a stroll. This is Humphrey? Hello, Humphrey. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's snacks in the box. Please return later. His leggies just need a little stretch every now and then. Wow. There you go. Yeah. All right, Humphrey. Let me give you a little tour around this place. Oh my, it's a little tail. All right, this is the Achacha shop. It even has a, it even has a sick burn on me. Acacia, one diamond. Achacha, two diamonds. This is an end shop that I opened with Joe Kim. It's a little ATM there. We've got the wool shop with little rainbow sheep. And then we've got, uh, there's a honey shop here. This is a shop that I based on looky looky at my bookie that Kralis made. There's Uno's shop over there. Pardon me, cat. This is James's dollar store. Actually, one second here. Hold on, hold on. I'm free, I'm free, one second. I'm free, I'm free. Please wait here. Thank you, Humphrey. Oh, good. Oh, good. It does have iron. <gasps> and it has gold? Ooh. Did somebody scream? Several people are screaming. It's fine. I'll be safe if I go right here. To put a petition to put a message on the community board that says Juniper says hi. Matt and your self insert. It's okay, I'm very good at Minecraft. Joe was like, what if you hit one of the cats? And I was like, impossible. <laughs> I landed zero of those shots. Take a look at gold armor with quartz trimming to get a chance. Is it cute? It's probably cute. Speaking of which, I'm still wearing gold boots. Thank you. The netherite boots with gold with uh, quartz trim kind of looks like wing boots. All right, anyways, I was going to buy a bunch of iron. Four diamonds, eh? Four times nine, that's 40. All right, I feel less poor now. I, I was going to make an iron farm myself at some point, but also, also supporting the local community always feels good. And that way, if I end up going and digging a little bit deeper or greedier... I, uh, I can always replenish diamonds. There's a payment barrel. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. It all ends up in the same place. Come on, Humphreys. Let's continue to explore. That's a potion shop.
up ahead. That's Joe's shop. She works very hard. That's her gunpowder farm. That's where she AFKs. Oh, that was your butt. Sorry. And this is my shop. And maybe we'll change some of the stock so that we can uh, accommodate these new trims. Oh, there's a very good cat there as well. Is there a dash button? If you hit control, you go pretty zoomy. And I think it's short-lived. So notably, can't jump. Oh, there is a little bit of a hustle, though. Oh my god. Wow. We auto-step over fences? So I guess you don't need to jump. You just, can you walk over a stone too? Yeah. Huh. What a tall camel. So there's no jump, but that's a little bit of a boost. And check out the speed you move. It's pretty zoomy. I wonder if camels have similar stats to horses. These. In that, um... Like they have higher speed stats and zoom chat stats and all that stuff. Anyways, Humphreys, hope you enjoyed the tour. Yeah, good little ear wags. checking our shop real quick those are the main ones all right let's skedaddle skedaddle to the end what was the last bed i slept in i mean it's fine if we end up in spawn we end up in spawn so i believe the end is this way Speaking of unusual animals, I have a 15-slot llama. Yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> I watch B-double-O's. I know, I recognize the amount of work it takes to make that happen. You just slept in your bed in the market? Okay, so I have no spawn. Perfect. <laughs> I will be back at spawn. Oh, isn't that adorable? Yeet. <clears throat> Go ahead and remind ourselves of what the Ender Ender looks like, just out of curiosity. Oh, right. I forgot it was sort of like a weird modern art piece. Designed to only be enjoyed from the inside. I made some very interesting build decisions. Ultra safe item disposal on and off. Introducing the James, the junk and more extermination system. Do I have anything I want to repair? Just out of curiosity. Sure, I can repair this hoe. Dan's apology. that it didn't repair that. I guess I had lots of other things to repair as well. So I'm increasingly starting to consider there's um, a 
design that allows you to basically like have the whole farm over top of two pistons. So you just open the floor and they all fall out and you close it because you don't really actually care. If you need to collect pearls, you just walk up. Pearl can't be, uh, pardon me, the bow can't be repaired. It has infinity on it. <clears throat> infinity or mending, they are mutually exclusive. Ugh. The gentle tinkle of progress, indeed. All right. suggest flying from the main island and heading east i get really bad vertigo if i don't see land i can't just uh i can't just fly out over an area but i can try and get myself roughly to those coordinates harvest so i'm at positive 300 minus a thousand it's a lot of ender friends Yeah, I can just head east from here. The F3 compass helps you a lot with the vertigo. I there's so there's this this little arrow here, which shows you roughly what your orientation is. But for whatever reason, once my brain starts spinning, I can't I can't fix it. You know. Hey, Anklag, thank you so much for thirty months. All right, positive twenty six, minus eighteen. It's not too bad. <clears throat> Adventure! It's this way. North, but mostly east. Well, we topped everything up before we left. Alright, I wonder how many end cities we're going to have to raid in order to get what we are looking for. What do you think? You think we're a bad enough dude to be one and done? What's up, Ankleg? Born in France. Oh, egg. Remember egg. I can't believe James lost his farm. It's very funny to me. <laughs> Aha! All right, our first city, and it hasn't even been hit either. Only, at least, unless people are not um, good start. Good start. to put a notice on the board that says remember egg uh did the farm get pruned i don't believe so james just forgot where it was ah uh, wasn't literally my first chest disappointing No, James just actually doesn't remember where his farm is. It's not that it got pruned. He just doesn't know where he put it. Which in some ways is funnier. Alright, this building has not a ton for lootables. Bleh. 
Avi, thank you for 56 months subversary and on the anniversary of my existence too. Yo, it's your birthday today, friend. Happy birthday. Can we get some hearts in chat for Avi? That's awesome. Happy birthday, friend. Thirty-two minus eighteen. Thank you. Thirty-two is continuing to go east. <clears throat> oh my! Another ship harvest. Harvest, harvest, harvest. I think I do a very good um, shulker noise, if you ask me. Building has oh this there's one lootable building. This building, this generation has. Oh no. Ooh. All right. Next. <laughs> what are people talking about with the pruning? All right, one second. Uh, Thirty-five twenty-five. So James uh, reset some of the overworld in the Nether, like nothing. He didn't. He didn't reset the um, the end, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but James lost a farm that he made, so people were talking about it'd be funny if he accidentally deleted it. But yeah, one of the things that you can do when a new update comes out is you can reset chunks. So that you actually get to enjoy the new content without having to travel a bajillion miles out. And for stuff like end busting in the nether, you can also just reset chunks so that when people go in, in search of stuff, they don't have to go quite as far. So there's kind of a combination of two conversations. Uh, one, James losing his stuff, and two, uh, James resetting some chunks. Looks like we still have the data pack installed too, where we get double shulker drops. <laughs> oh, right. That's why his farm was like so productive. Forgot he had that. A lot of diamonds in that box. Efficiency 5, unbreaking 3 pick. Huh. Neat. Shulkers and Drown have the least enjoyable noise. Oh, hello. Vroomp. I mean, the vomp is very satisfying. But that's an Enderman noise, too. All right. Lots of loot in this building. Or in this city, rather. So we have loot in this far building in this large central building. Let's go with the large central building first. Wait, no, that not that one. That one doesn't have loot. That one does. Horses are at the top of the awful mob noises. You mean specifically when a horse takes damage? Because that is a pretty cursed noise. No, my under chest. Oh, goodbye forever.
Yeah, we often talk about the best noises in Minecraft. I'm always curious about your thought on the worst noise in Minecraft. Horse damage, definitely up there. There was um a very unpleasant sort of like fleshy sound for a while when you um when you stepped on Netherrack. I don't know if that got better or not. No luck with Entrim yet. This is only our third city. Cat dying. I don't know if I've heard that noise. Lots of smashing glass. Oh, thank God you can't instant mine glass. Could you imagine? I think I'm done here. One, two, three. Yeah. City is done. Plus boat. So hold on. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we've hit about 20 chests so far. Bit of a hike. 52, negative 28. All right. Correct glass for breaking tools, TNT. Gas noise is pretty awful. Oh, the gas taking damage noise. Not when it dies, but when it's like that noise. Don't like that. That's a pretty cursed noise. It's a tremendously cursed noise. I'll level that up. Level up my valuation. Ooh, there's an egg. Home egg. I guess the ender ender is a pretty awful noise. It's one that I routinely mute as well. Oh, the sound of a tool breaking. Are you sure that's not just an emotional reaction? Here it is. Nice. Wow. Wow. Are we, like, skipping non-boats, or am I just extremely lucky, Harvest, or are you just a wizard? Because this is... Is this our fourth? Yeah, you can tell because we're counting the Elytras. Rude. You just found a line of boats. Amazing. Yes! Hey! Oh, wow. That was so much faster. Let's go! All right. That's a GG. Let's keep hitting uh, this just to clear it. We've got, we've only got four other chests to check here. Well, that was like my major goal today was to hunt those particular trims. I think we could start the next major goal I had. Like, I still want to keep picking away and eventually collect all the trims. What block do you need to copy this? I don't know. I'm assuming something end related. Probably purple. I think the the color of the block behind it is a hint. So my guess is it's probably like purple block. And Joe says she's quite purple rich. So I was flying east. So if I go southwest, is that where that egg was? I think the egg was like right over here, right? I had F3 open. Did anybody remember where that egg was? Did anybody make a mental note? Egg? Hello, egg? It was at 47 minus 27.
47, 20. Yes. All right, you ready for this? First try. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> ah. Huh. Yeet. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize Spawn was here. I thought Spawn was there. For whatever reason. Right, Amy. If we, I do really want to clean this up. It's like free to take, but everything that's in it's bad. <laughs> uh, does does not feel good. Hey, Arvist, thank you very much for being such an A plus navigator. I really do appreciate that. Friends, if you'd be so kind as to throw some hearts in chat, as a big thank you to Harvest. That was so fast and so painless. It's absurd. I also love that I can do this. <laughs> you know, just 11 spare Elytra as one does. Uh, where was I putting spare Elytra shells? Do I not have any? I really need to find James's farm. Like, why do I have a box for buttons? What am I doing with my life? Who, who organized this storage system? Okay, I can fix this. What's up, rat? You built a Did You Die shelter at spawn of my SMP with beds, food, equipment, and ender chest? There are a couple of people who are really stranded when they die. Oh, no, for sure, right? Yeah. I had way more buttons and we were buttoning the nether. That's fair. So check it out. Here's our trim collection so far. Of the 16 new trims, we're sitting on eight. So we've passed the halfway point. Areas that are done, the nether is done. Uh, I want to say the ocean is not done. We have three of the four that you get from the, um, the trail. Yeah, this is another nether one. Snout, netherite, and rib are the three nether ones. We have the end one that's done. And then we don't have desert, we don't have jungle, we don't have a lot of the biome-specific ones yet. But an excellent, an excellent start to our collection and to our adventure. Is there one for the deep dark? Yes, there is. Yeah, we didn't get that one either. We did raid a um, an ancient city, but we struck out. Oh, pardon me. Yeah, exclamation trim will bring up this very handy guide by Mandolin. So it shows you the name, what it looks like, and as well as where it's found. So there's actually two that you get in the ancient city. So we've hit um, we've hit two ocean monuments and struck out. We've hit one ancient city and struck out. We've hit one jungle temple and struck out. We're 0 for 1 on desert temples. 
Uh, we're 0 for 1 on pillager outposts as well. Yeah, we're 3 for 4 here. And then we finished the nether. And we, yeah, we finished the nether, which is Bastion and Nether Fortress, and the end today, which is kind of cool. And then the outfit that we are decorated with right now is, um, is, what was the pattern I chose? Host, which is kind of cool. I'm starting to get a little, oh, I was going to say, I'm starting to get a little nervous in terms of how many diamonds I have. And then sees 64 diamond blocks. <laughs> uh, never mind, we're fine. There we go. There we go. Your storage encouraged me to finally move out of the starter shock and your year old server. I love this storage room. I think it's awesome. Big fan. Does the trim still have the ability to add color with copper and gemstones? Any metal and any gem can make things pretty. And speaking of which, we don't really have a good outfit to wear as a dwarven king. And there's a suggestion from... I believe it was Mr. Gibberish who said we should make ourselves uh, an armor set, a dwarven armor set, fit for a king. So the first suggestion was what if it was gold and quartz? We could also try copper. Copper might be a good trim as well. Definitely has to be base gold, though. We could also try redstone. Uh, and why not? Let's grab emerald and diamond as well. You know? Actually, the bougiest would be... We could also try netherite trim. Mmm. -hmm. Foreheads. Uh, foreheads. I was doing a winky face, not a forehead. Now, what do you, what do you think is the coolest pattern. Which one do you think has the most flex? Rib looks kind of cool. And, I mean, something we could also do is we could mix and match, right? Like, what if we did rib for the chest piece, but, like, coast for the helmet or something? You like the tied helmet? We don't have tied, unfortunately. You like Dune ribs makes too many jokes? Dune. Everyone keeps picking ones. Yeah, we don't have to do the whole set. Love to mix and match. Snout's kind of cool for the chest piece, honestly. Don't love it for the boots because it makes you look like you have uh, cloven hoofs. For king, you love the vex trim. Yeah. Stop picking ones we don't have. <laughs> uh. Hi, sweetie. Oh my god, lunchtime. So, real quick, if I had to put together, I'm gonna we're gonna have a short lunch break in just a second here. If we made our our coolest looking set, our coolest looking set, right? I think it's body. I think body is vex for sure. Right. Uh, people are saying tied for helmet.
I think the boots, I think the coolest boots are actually N City. Like, look at that. N City is kind of cool. Coast Helm is pretty cool. Yeah, Tide. Yeah, yeah. wait, Coast. Oh, you like that sort of crown? That is elegant. Maybe Coast is better than Tide. You like the eye boots? You don't like the... I really like that sort of chainmail pattern. I think that's kind of cool. As far as a set goes, I love the clean lines from Host. Also, I like the pants from Snout. I don't know. This is my this is my current goal. But maybe actually maybe the robe doesn't look as good if it's not matched with the pants, you know? Maybe the pants have to be matched too. Dye leather armor purple and trim it. To do a purple and gold would be a kind of funny flex. It used to be uh, stone tools. Enchanted stone tools looked indistinguishable from netherite, which is kind of funny. All right, so I can't even do this yet because we don't have Vex. But might be kind of fun just to play around with some other trims in the meantime. Thinking specifically... Maybe I just start with host again. I really like host. Just to see what it looks like, right? All right, so there... There it is with the white. Hmm. The copper is pretty... Actually, let's do a big piece. A big piece that we can see what it looks like. Oh, the black trim. Kind of looks like a smiley face, though. There's the red trim. Okay. Diamond trim. I don't love the diamond trim. Emerald trim. Emerald trim looks kind of good. I wonder if because it's not enchanted. Lapis? Nah, I don't know if I'd love uh, a blue trim. Yellow and blue, I don't think, are besties. Because, like... Don't love that. My favorites are probably, honestly, probably this left row. Either quartz, copper. The netherite is such a flex. <laughs> oh, the pants look awesome. Can you imagine, though, just the flex? Of using netherite? <laughs> oh, man. All right. We'll, uh, we'll think about that after lunch break. All right. Here's the plan. We're going to hang out for, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. Chat. Eat some lunch. And then, yeah. I've got another, I've got another big plan that we can maybe start after this. I don't know how much more tri trim hunting I want to, I want to do today. There we are. It's the flex season on Minecraft for sure. I mean, the fact that I'm sitting on, <laughs> what if we finally go back to James's base and take back those four blocks of netherite that we had donated. Replace it with cobble. <laughs> They're like, sorry, James. I had to use the netherite for my armor. Leftover Alfredo. Leftover chicken Alfredo. Alright, how you doing? What's our lunch topic?
What's on your mind that you want to chat about? The wolf is on fire. Thank you so much for four months of support. I really appreciate it. Beep, beep, indeed. Me and my loved ones doing okay with the wildfires? For a change, for once, it's not the West Coast that's on fire. I am a West Coast Canadian, and I'm in an area that is completely unaffected so far. Thank goodness, because <laughs> years and years of that, and I do not look forward to the new normal, which is just absolutely miserable, smoke-filled summers. I do have some family in Alberta that we're getting a little bit smoked out. I think it's better now. Anybody in the south of Alberta able to report in on the current status of smokiness? Is it better now or no? Your asthma did not enjoy having to go out for an hour today. Oh, it's brutal. Code purple down in Baltimore for air quality. Brutal. It's been beautiful in the Pacific Northwest, but I feel bad for the East Coast. Oh, absolutely. You're in Calgary. It's not the, that bad these days. I know it was pretty bad a couple weeks ago, but it's good to hear that it got better. Because, yeah, one of the first big wildfires this season was actually a uh, controlled burn in Banff that got out of control, if I remember correctly. Cool, Lar. Watching the VOD, sneaking around the other day in the deep dark and thinking there's no way I could do this now to have a seven-week-old baby squeaking in the background. <sighs> You're trying to be quiet. The baby is just like gooing or whatever. Goo-gooing. Whatever the... Cooing. What is the noise that babies make? It's embarrassing. What is it called when a baby goo goo -ga -gas? <laughs> Ah, streamer questions. Is it babbling? Oh, cooing is the sound. Interesting. Shrieking, crying. Babies make a lot of noises. <laughs> Mine does this very unique thing of just screaming. All right. <laughs> cooing like a pigeon. All right. I was looking for the word cooing, I guess. But there's a lot of scarred parents in chat who have added other sound effects. Amazing. Mm. So yeah, it's, I don't enjoy that I have to consider the smokiness of an area before we go on vacation. Because like, I wanted to go to Calgary and visit some family. And I was like, I'm going, I'm in an area with no smoke. Why would I go to an area that has smoke, right? Like that sounds unpleasant. Your kids are 19 and 13 now. They grew out of the screaming. Oh, I'm sure 13 year olds can scream if they really put their mind to it. 19 year olds too. Traveling to the south, you have to plan around hurricanes, so natural disaster vacation planning is normal to you. Are hurricanes that common in the south? Wow.
I did not know that. Are they like actually yearly or more than that? I have heard in um in Hawaii there's an entire season around like um volcanic silt and volcanic sediment that can get out and there's an entire like lung and asthma reaction specifically around like volcanic byproduct which is wild to think about There's like absolute, ow, I just bit my lip. There's a whole hurricane season, terrifying. Like twice a year, some years worse than most. Wild. Huh? On average, five to six hurricanes a year. I had no idea I lived in such a chill place. I don't even have to consider stuff like that. No earthquakes, no hurricanes, no tornadoes. Pacific Northwest is okay. I don't like the new, like, smoke thing. Huh. I've ever done pesto. Uh, I mean, obviously, I've had pesto before. Not a huge pesto fan. It's very rich. I do prefer like creams and meat sauces and tomato sauces to pesto. Hmm. I guess, yeah, in the Pacific Northwest, we are saving up for the big one, TM. There's an expected, one of these days, apparently the entire island is going to sink into the ocean or something like that. Lego, yay or nay? For me, I'm not a huge Lego guy. I used to play with a ton of Lego as a kid. I just play Minecraft now. Nothing wrong with Lego. I don't like to have stuff, he says, with a giant busy shelf and literally a Minecraft Lego behind me. I tend to not like to have a lot of physical things because I live in a small place. Minecraft is Lego without having to put your toys away or step on it. Stepping on it is the worst, right? You're actively building a VW camper van you got as a gift from your parents? Yo, that sounds rad, Brooke. Like full sleeper van? Turn to me. We all ready for Jeff Keeley's Summer Dealy? The Video Game Awards? I don't actually know what you're talking about. Maybe? Hmm. Pardon me. Jeff Keeley. That is the host of the Video Game Awards, right? Or am I completely out of touch? I might be out of touch. Summer. Wait, Summer Game Fest is today. Starting when? Oh. In 20 minutes? Hadouken. Oh, I like to watch that. We could watch it together. Ah, uh, I do worry about family friendly for those trailers, but we could co-stream that. That'd be kind of interesting. We'd have to put a disclaimer that it might not be family friendly, but we could watch it together. That'd be really interesting. Yeah, we could co-stream that. All right, here, let's get back to Minecraft. And let's, let's build ourselves some armor trims just to look kind of cute and to flex. And um, talk to me about that idea. That could be really fun.
I mean, oh, I almost guaranteed there's going to be a um. Oh, I could I could just change the stream. Yeah, we'll see. We'll do a co-stream with it. All right, hold on. Let's uh let's finish this thought here because I do want to see what these look like. So for armor trim, I'm gonna need terracotta in the background. If you haven't seen this yet, this is how you fix these up. So if you want more than one, and let's just keep it simple for now. Let's just use quartz because I have a lot, a lot of quartz, and I don't quite. Pardon me. I don't want to quite flex this hard, quite yet. Quite yet. Maybe in a bit. Maybe in a bit when we're a little bit wealthier. All right. So if you want more of these armor trims, what you do is you use seven diamonds. And then you put down uh, the block that matches the background color. For this one, it's terracotta. There's other ones. And then one becomes two. And it's very important that you do this because they will absolutely get consumed. All right. So there you go. We just spent 28 diamonds to make four more of these. Where did terracotta go? One of these days, I'm going to learn how my storage system works. <laughs> uh, one, of, one of these days. And then I've got quartz on me for the armor trim. Ooh. What do you think? Wait. Wait. We have to walk. Old money bags Jaeger over here? That's what they call me. Oh my god, I forgot that we made our entire throne out of solid netherite blocks too. <laughs> oh, I forgot what I forgot how wealthy we actually were in this. What do you think? I don't have a beard. Which means as the dwarf king, we don't necessarily look as good as we otherwise could, but Do you like to even tell there's trim on it? I mean, we spent 28 diamonds to get this look. I look like I'm made of butter. Interesting. Do you think it's because it's not enchanted? Ahem. <clears throat> Can you dye the trim color? No, because trim is, well, trim. So you use different colors. Did I build this whole thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're 300 hours into this playthrough, Pearl. All right, let's grab some of these. And then some of these. And is it even worth putting protection on them? Yes, it is. All right, let's get four of these. Get four of these. <clears throat> so all protection four is not great. I mean, I guess I could super bling them out with like all the good stuff for the boots. Ah, oh, if I do this, I'm going to want, oh, host armor trim quartz material. Oh, that's kind of cool. So that's what that looks like, huh? I could just make it purely decorative, in which case it's only unbreaking and mending. 
is an interesting idea. Speaking of family friendly, my two year old 100% picked up, shall we say, carp from you playing Vault Hunters. It's hilarious and bad. Do I say that? Carp? I thought my. Uh... Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm teaching your children any bad habits. <laughs> All right. I don't want to enchant this if it's not perfect. I don't want to spend a ton of time making it perfect. Does it have to be perfect or can it be decorative? What do you think? I only ever hear buckets. Yeah, I don't really ever. I don't think I curse ever. I try not to. Pretty only. It needs to be enchanted. Decorative is still cool. So unbreaking and mending to make it decorative. Yeah. If the boots are going with you for the... the in, no, we have a different nether pair of boots already. Perfect is the enemy of good. We're going to want to redo this when we get more trims. I spent 28 diamonds on this. What do you mean redo? 28 diamonds? <clears throat> Look, I'm not Joe. I'm not made of money. My 64 diamond blocks. That's a finite number. I can't break that. I can't, I can't turn that into change. <laughs> What's that, sweetie? Oh my god, Joe's like, you want me to spot you some diamonds? Uh, she's so good to me. The bank of Joe. I wonder what the Joe interest rates are. To pay her back in cats. <laughs> Just a judgmental stare from Mr. Pig. All right, let's see how we look now that it's been enchanted. Ooh, you know what? That's that very light. I really like how subtle they've made the enchanted glow. I think that makes it better. Oh, yeah. What do you think about that now? Hey, Azershock, thank you for the 100 biddies. I want to drop by and remind you what a true treasure you are. Well, thank you. I do think, I do think once we get all of the patterns, we're going to make the one true armor and we're probably going to do gold with a netherite trim just for that flex. But I think this is a good start. I think this is a good start. <clears throat> Let's go put ourselves on our throne. I love portals all side by side. Can you claim yesterday that diamond cost wasn't an issue for you? I didn't become extremely diamond wealthy just so I could spend it. Hey, Joe. Thank you very much for that uh, that canal you left me earlier, bud. <laughs> couldn't even couldn't even be bothered to dye it blue or something, huh? Or gray. To be fair, it's my own shulker. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh, man. All right. I see how it is. All right. Look at that. Look at that. I don't I don't hate that at all. We got our trim. We're on our netherite throne. All right. Give me one second. I have to pee.
I'll be right back. I want to leave you with this view. We can think about, think about the impact of how we're looking right now. All right, hello, I'm back. You forgot this was a netherite throne? Yeah, I did too. <laughs> All right, I like this trim thing. I don't think we've nailed it yet, but I think we look cute as heck. And I do like the idea of having a decorative armor that we, um, that we can wear around for like flexing purposes. I also like that we've, of course, wait, oh, my boots aren't named. Of course, like that we have like another set as well, right? Oh, I should put on, um, I know what I need to do. I'm going to put <laughs> an armor stand directly behind it <laughs> so we can change. Oh, there's, there's the secret tech. If we hold audience with anybody in our throne room, we'll be like, hey, one second. Just let me slip into something a little bit more regal. All right, that's there. Good. Yeah, do not look at the man behind the throne <laughs> or whatever, whatever sort of line you had in uh, The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Nothing at all happening there. I need to get my pick back from James. I can't believe James stole one of my, my silk picks. All right, so let's talk about our new plan coming up. Starting next week, starting Monday, which is the next stream, I think I want to get into making some farms before we get straight up into the museum project. In particular, I want to make a... Um, I want to start with a bamboo farm. And as I start thinking about it more and more, I think what I want to do is maybe build an entire industrial area you know the sort of thing that you don't have loaded all of the time because that could be bad for, for, for performance so i'll have to scout an area out i want it nearby i love that it's connected like jaegerdine to something honestly instead of a modern aesthetic i really love and a lot of creators do this in their videos i really love an aesthetic of like brick and andesite and granite and blending and maybe put in some some um yeah, more like an industrial revolutionist aesthetic, like smokestacks and stuff like that, which I don't think would fit here, but I love building in that style and I think it looks really good. Um, and maybe actually we could build it above. There is a meadow and a village nearby, but again, I want it separated enough that uh, for performance issues, it's, it's either loaded or is, it isn't. And yeah, put a bunch of stuff into there, which would be kind of cool. There's also the sugarcane farm that I've wanted to make in 1.19 forever. <laughs> so we'll see. It uh, it could be a lot of fun and just a lot of like other, other random neat things. And then of course we have the absolute mega build that is going to be the museum that we're going to start pretty soon. What's up, serious Tyru? Happy 1.22 as well. But yeah, I think we're going to call it here today for Minecraft. This has been awesome. We hit our goal of getting all the nether trims and all of the end trims. And yeah, look forward to 
farms and industrial building and all of that stuff going forward. Yeah. See you then.